hello guys and welcome to another good video and in this video we are going to perform a root bridge attack using Kali Linux and if you don't know what a root bridge is it's a reference point for all switches in a spanning tree topology so across all connected switches a process of election occurs in um, the bridge with the lowest bridge ID is selected has a root bridge and the bridge ID is an 8-byte value that consists of a 2-byte bridge priority and a 6-byte system ID, which is the burn, um, the burn in MAC address of the switch. So whoever has the lowest priority and the lowest MAC address is going to become the root bridge of uh, of a topology right between the switches. So if you wanna, let's go ahead and open. Um, these two switches right here and see which one is the root bridge between those two so let me see uh, let's go ahead into this switch as well oops so if we go to enable and then you have to do a show um, I believe the show spanning tree show spanning tree VLAN 1 um, brief not bridge um, brief no let's just show a spanning tree VLAN one so as you can see right here um, you see that spanning tree is enabled because it is enabled by default you see that the root bridge priority is this um, 32,769 um, so this is the root ID and let's see which one is the root bridge so this one is enable this bridge is the root so like you can see right here um, since this is the MAC address of the root bridge and since that's our MAC address you can see that we are the root bridge so you can see that switch the switch over here um, switch 32 is the root bridge you can you can see right here that it tells you and if you go to this one Let's do a show spanning tree two. VLAN one. You're going to see that it is going to tell you um, that the root ID is a priority of the root ID and the address or the MAC address of the um, root ID or, or the root bridge is this MAC address, which is the uh, MAC address of this switch right here. So what we want to do is we want to disrupt this. Um, the root bridge and we want to become the root bridge with Kali Linux um, and but we're going to this we are actually going to send a lower bridge ID um, with a lower or better or with a better bridge ID so we can become the um, root ID right and then after we become the root ID everything is gonna come other traffic uh, of the SDP traffic is going to come towards Kali Linux and then after that we could hack the system and disrupt the system so let's go ahead and do that but I just wanted to show you first that you can see right here that the root bridge is this switch right here so let's go ahead and open Kali Linux like always and that over here and now um, the first thing that I want to do I want to go ahead into the terminal and I want to see if I have an IP address I should have an IP address because I have configured a default gateway in a DHCP server over here, which provides me with the IP addresses. And as you can see, I have an IP address over here. So then I should be able to ping 192.168. That one that one, which is my default gateway, and I also should be able to ping um, this router over here. So we're able to we have connectivity. So that's good now what i want to do is i want to go ahead to the terminal and i want to open jersinia um and just jersinia um, i have been using um this for my other videos as well so if you go to my youtube channel you're going to see that i perform a villain hacking attack and i also show you guys how to stop it i did a spoofing attack a dhcp spoofing attack 
ID and RP poisoning or, I, or ARP spoofing attack, a cam overflow, and a lot more videos. So if you want to go ahead to my channel and watch the other ones, you can go ahead and do that as well. But let's go ahead and keep going with this um, with this STP attack, with this STP root attack. Um, Angel Senior, like I said, I have been using it. Angel Senior is a framework for performing layer two attacks. Um, and it is designed to take advantage or, of some weaknesses, like we are going to take advantage of that root I, uh, of the root port or the root ID in different network protocols. It prevents to it pretends to be a solid framework for analyzing and testing the deployed networks and system. Attacks for follow, for the following protocols are implemented in these um, Jersinia. So you can do spending trick attacks, um, CDP attacks, DTP attacks, um, DHCP attacks, HSRP, 802.1Q, 802.1X, ISL attack, and VLAN trunking protocol or VTP attacks. So the one that we're going to do is going to be the root attack where we are going to become the root bridge of the two switches so what you want to do if you go to the stp tab you can see that we are receiving um the root id which is this one right here and the bridge id um, and where it is and what it is it is in this port and the interface that is coming in just coming in my interface ethernet zero so what i want to do is i want to launch an attack and then we are going to go to the STP tab, tab, and then we are going to go to claiming the root role. So what's going to happen is, after I click OK, I'm going to become the root bridge. So you can see I sent an attack. And now if we go to the switches, if you go to show spending trivial and one, you are going to see that this one is not the root bridge anymore. You can see that the root bridge has changed to this IP address or this MAC address, which is the MAC address on my um, Kali Linux computer, right? Like you can see before, it was saying that this one was the MAC address of the root bridge, and now it was changed to this one, uh, which is a lower MAC address, if you can see. Um, and it does not says that this is a bridge root anymore. And if we go to this one, you're going to see the same thing. There we go. You're going to see that the address is this one right here. So it is a different MAC address than that it was saying before. Now it's a C647. That's what it was before. And now it is a C646, which is lower. And it has the same priority. So we have become the root bridge of this network so and what can what could you do to stop this well you can do a bunch of stuff you could either go to config t and you can make port this port going to the kali linux because you know a switch should not be um, attached to this port and you can configure this port port with a DHCP, oh, has a um, switch port um, as a BPDU guard. So if you enable, you have to enable BPDU guard, that's what I meant. And if you enable BPDU guard, what BPDU guard does is that if it receives a BPDU packet, which are only supposed to be between switches, it's going to um, error disable that, um, it's going to error disable that port. And also you could do a root uh, a guard root and that's also what it's going to do is going to block this port from becoming a root ever and if this um Kali Linux machine tries to become a root what it's going to do is it's just going to reject the packet and it won't accept that BPDU packet so let's go ahead and do that uh, you can do first a spanning tree you can do a question after that and as you can see right here you have different stuff that you could do the first one that we want to enable is port fast. Up oh, port fast. And then you can do let me see port fast normal default. Or oh, actually we enable that from the global config. You don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and 
let's go ahead and disable that so for that we need to go to the specific interface which is gigabit 00, zero because that's the only that's the one that we want to be blocking so let's go ahead to gigabit 00, zero. and then from here you want to do a spanning tree and you can do a question as you can see we have big video guard and poor fast and we have guard and guard will give you more uh, it will give you the root and also the loop but the one that we want to enable first is port fast port fast right and then after that you want to do a spanning tree ppdu um, enable let me see um, bpdu guard and then enable and then as you can see um, since it received a BPDU packet, because the Kali Linux right now is sending BPDU packets to the switch, it has error disable that um, interface. And error disable means that it has shut down that interface. So if you do a show interface or show IP interface brief, you're going to see that gigabit 00, zero is now down because it received that BPDU packet. And we configure as it is a a computer connected to it but since Kali Linux is acting as a switch um, it went down because we don't want anybody to be acting as a switch or to be a switch connected to this port so it error disable that port and the other thing that you could do is um, spanning tree you do guard and then you do root and what that's going to do is whenever this port tries to ever um, become a root bridge it's just going to um, reject that um, BPDU packet. So we are doing both. So we are rejecting BPDU packets with, with the spanning tree and PPDU guard. And we are also rejecting um, the port to ever becoming a root port. So that's how you could protect your network from a root bridge attack or HTTP attack. And this is all for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, Please go to my Twitter account and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. This is where I post all my new videos and all the good stuff. And if you want to subscribe to my channel because I have really good videos, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and this is all, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.